So in this video, I'm going to transfer a game and a game save from my PlayStation 4 to my PlayStation 5. So I'm actually using the media remote to do the navigation around here. Uh, I'm going to go into settings here and I'm going to go into system and then I'm going to go to data transfer. And as you can read here, you can transfer data from your PlayStation 4. I'm going to hit continue here. Prepare for data transfer. Make sure your PS4 is turned on and both your PS4 and PS5 are connected to the same network. So let me fire up my PlayStation 4. Okay, so my PlayStation 4 is fired up. I'm gonna hit continue here. Now, a lot of the times when I do this, I will connect systems directly with an ethernet cord. But uh, I don't, I'm not gonna do that in this case. I'm just gonna see if I can do it over my home wireless network. So, PlayStation 4 found, and uh, what it needs me to do is press the power button on the PlayStation 4 for one second until it beeps. So, let me do that right now. All right, it beeped. So I don't really have a whole lot of plans to play games that I've already played on the PlayStation 4, on the PlayStation 5. So the only one that I'm looking to transfer over is Control because there's one piece of DLC that I still need to play from there. I'm gonna hit next. Now select games and apps to transfer. So PT was the game that I wanted to transfer, but it's not even allowing me to do that. As you can see, it says, you can't use this PS4 game or app on the PS5. So it's not even allowing me to select it. So let's see if we can find something else to transfer. Let's see if we can transfer Erica. Manhunt. Manhunt is a PlayStation 2 game. And let's see. Eh, might as well. All right, so I'm going to hit next here. Wow, data transfer is ready to start. Once you start the transfer, you'll need to wait for save data to finish transferring before you can continue using the PlayStation 5. Estimated time, one minute. That would be pretty impressive. So let's see what we got here. All right, so it's finishing up and it's gonna restart the PlayStation 5 once everything is complete here. So let's go into the storage here and see what we've got. All right, control, there's my game save. So I've switched over to my PlayStation 4, and then apparently the PlayStation 4 is gonna turn off once that transfer is complete. So we're back here on the PlayStation 5, and we're looking at the downloads and uploads, and this gives me a better idea of what's going on here. So uh, even though Erica is playable, it's still installing. So there's 21 minutes left on Erica. Let It Die hasn't even started, and then the total data transfer is up above. So we're only 11, almost 12 gigabytes into a 90 gigabyte transfer. Okay, so it's the next day, and as you can see, there's a lot of glare here. Fortunately, there's not a lot to cover at this point. So let's check a couple of things here. We're just gonna check the settings. We're gonna see uh, what the storage looks like here, if that looks any different. And uh, definitely my free space has gone down as expected. So let's go to the main menu here again and go up to games. And now you see that I have Let It Die, I have Erica, and I have Manhunt in my uh, menu there. So everything has transferred over, and I probably should have done it with a, uh, an Ethernet cord, 
but no big deal. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you wanna help out this channel, you can give me a thumbs up, you can share this video on your favorite social media, or you can actually join my Patreon, all of which is greatly appreciated. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh,